What's up everybody? It's Rainy Latte. Today we are making a modern barn, um, farm renovation words. Yeah. Um, and we're using some raised terrain. I've been having fun playing with the terrain tool. Um, we have a little, um, kind of slope where to park your cars and then back here is a little porch. Um, which is also the entrance, so that's pretty nifty. Um, a little, little annoying, though, you know, if you want to park your car, then you have to walk all the way around to, um, get into your house. That's a little annoying, but it's whatever. We also have another entrance right next to the, um, living room right here. So it's these nice, big, giant, open windows from the, uh, Eco Lifestyle pack. And it's, um... Lots of deck space in this house, for sure. Mm -hmm. And it is in the Get Together home world, Windenburg. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't know why I deleted those windows because I ended up using them again, so <laughs> that's a little silly of me. Um, here is the uh, back over here. We're gonna have the um, uh, the room! There we go! Words! And it has really nice lighting on the back of the house during the afternoon, but in the morning the lighting is better in the front. We have some nice little shrubbery, some nice little bushes right here in front of the porch. They look nice. I use different fencing. Oh, here we go. This is the fence that we put around the whole house. It's made out of uh, debug objects, so your sim should be able to step around it. I haven't tested it though, so I'm not completely sure, <laughs> but it should be alright. And the fencing just goes around the whole um, property of the lot. And we have some debug trees from the um, Windenburg um, pack, just so it looks like it matches the world. That tree in the front was really annoying. I probably should have like flip-flopped the house so you wouldn't be cutting off the, the property but it's just whatever and then we put some tree uh, shrubs in front of the uh, pretend fence but they're also deep up objects so they might be able to just um, walk through the sims and then we're putting some cars in the front um, just a pickup truck because I thought that would be helpful if you have a farm. And another regular car. I don't know anything about cars, so I don't know what kind of models those would be. Just a... Yeah. Originally, I thought this would have been for a family. And I decorated the um, upper rooms for her to be kids' rooms, and you could use it like that. But I didn't include it in the footage because it was just getting too long. This video is already pretty long, it's like almost 20 minutes, so it's whatever. I try to keep these short, as short as I can, but there's only so much I can do. And then here we have the uh, cow plants. I try to like have them go at different directions, but I don't, I, I don't know, I'm not sure why I did that. Um, they all face the same direction eventually. And um, we just have like uh, three rows of four. So, of these regular sized ones, and we have one giant one, and we have a few babies in the back. And yeah, it's a nice little gravelly area. I have a hard time trying to figure out what to put in this area. I think eventually I put just more um, garden plots and more baby um, cow plants. So, whoever owns this property is just crazy. I also used the uh, cow plant painting uh, like all throughout this um, house. And here it's the entrance. Um, it's just a little um, bookshelf with a lamp. It's a little basket to put your keys and some plants on it. It's just pretty simple. Um, I made this built to home a lot more industrial style with a lot of like blacks and grays and whites and dark browns and stuff like that. So then I asked my friend who wanted a cow plant house to begin with, like what kind of uh, style he likes and it's uh, I, d I don't think it's this. Uh, but, oh well. 
I mean, to be completely honest, this is probably more my style. I don't know if I'd want to have like white couches though, that would be, uh, I, I don't want to imagine how much I would accidentally stain like white couches, so it is what it is. Um, but I use this trick of putting chairs into the couches to look like extra pillows, and now we're into the bathroom. It's just a pretty standard bathroom. Um, put some tile in there eventually. I don't use that sink because I wanted it to look a little bit more fancy so I used um, a little counter space like right here and um, maybe just giant 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 mirrors. Then I just put a tub in here. Just having a tub wasn't, this wouldn't be as nice. Um, you could put like a, the shower from university life, just like a I don't know, there's not enough shower tub combos that look good, so I get rid of that shower though, I think, later on, because it just doesn't look natural in here. Um, yeah, you saw a little glimpse of what the upstairs is, but I don't include any more of it in the video because it just took up way too much time. And this bathroom's really, really dark. I think I should have done more colors in here to like lighten it up a bit, but uh, oh well, I don't want to build this house anymore, it took me a long time. And now we're into the kitchen, and we have um, a little uh, side table, although honestly you could have put like a kitchen cabinet, like a like a china cabinet or something would have been better here maybe, but um, that's what we have, and then I decided to put a double oven over here just because there was a lot of room in the kitchen. And we're back. So this is me recording on day two because um, apparently the save file that save file, um, I didn't save everything from the voiceover from the day before so this is up the next day of me voicing over and I still hate that table I put there. I wish I put like a little china cabinet over there or like a yeah, china cabinet or something or other like a little cabinet for more storage purposes but it's whatever. Then over here we are decorating the kitchen with more clutter space because there's not enough storage space in those cabinets below. So we got a microwave, we got a coffee pot, we got um, a cookie, cookie cookie jar coming up, we got a little like little dish drying thing in Madui. And um, even though we already got a dishwasher, it's just cool if you have like a million dishes. If you want to dry some while you're doing some like there's a load in the dishwasher already. We got some salt paper pepper pepper sorry i can't pronounce words right now i'm a little little buzzed had a had a uh what is it called <laughs> i had a thick boy of a can beer of a beer oh. <laughs> sorry i cannot word right now but any who's I like this double oven. I've never used a double oven like this before. Um, I'd imagine you'd have like an awesome Thanksgiving. Like, you know, you could cook so many things. So many things on that. You could cook your gravy. You could cook your cranberry sauce. You could cook all sorts of stuff. I want to make a Thanksgiving build now that I'm talking about this. Like a little, a nice Thanksgiving house. Very traditional. Kind of craftsman kind of shape. That's kind of a cool build to do. But I don't know, I don't really like doing kind of traditional houses, but I might do it. I never know. Like, my inspiration for building some stuff is just like all over the place. I never know what I want to build. I don't know what I want to build after this um, video comes out, to be honest. I'm still figuring it out. I'm like trying to do a pseudo apartment build, but I don't know if I'm gonna actually upload that. But it's whatever. Over here we got the bedroom, and um, I don't keep whatever you're looking at right now. It is garbage, so don't don't even look at it. Pretend it doesn't exist. I do not see, because <laughs> um, I replace uh, this like cow plant 
altar on the shelf to be a brick wall, accent brick wall, even though brick would not make sense at all whatsoever in a um, modern barn house renovation. But it's fine, it's cool, it's Gucci. I love this rug though. This rug from the Paramount pack with this little like diamond pointy shape sort of dewy thingies. Pretty nice. Over here we add a um, da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 desk. And it's a glass desk and it's next to a dresser with a glass desk. I get rid of the dresser so don't don't look at it. Uh, it, it disappears later on. <laughs> Um, yeah. I try to cut out as much footage of me, um, placing things, but then I get rid of them, you know, because they don't, um, you don't see them in the finished product, so I try to cut out as much as I can, but it's a creative process. Over here we have the living room back again, um, and I try to make it more of, like, an entertainment center, so, um, I put these little black accent pieces things, but I get rid of them later on, because I put a little brick accent wall in the back, and I get rid of that lamp and that plant, they go, up oh, bye bye, um, and put some bookshelves over there, just for more storage, and for just, like, having books and stuff, that's nice, I guess, oh, that concrete swatch you just saw, like, one time, I want to use it, I want to use it really bad, but I have no idea where I would use it, but I really like the look of concrete, brick, or industrial looking sort of things. I love it. I love it so much. But that is definitely not the style of uh, my friend who requested this from the house. But I didn't know what interior style he wanted at the time, so it's a whatever. <laughs> um, but this is kind of like my preference in interior style. Maybe maybe a little bit more lighter than this, you know, maybe with some dark couches, because I think white couches are just a bad idea, I think I already said that already, but it's whatever, I really like having these, like, um, little vines, like, right under the TV, it might be annoying, like, if you're trying to, like, watch a TV and it's kind of, like, blocking the view a little bit, but it sure as heck looks pretty cool and nifty. And then I use these cabinets and kind of make them a little bit bigger, um, so they touch the floor, because it's kind of weird when they don't touch the floor. It's a little strange. Um, so I made them touch the floor. And then I put that little hand sculpture, because it fits perfectly right there. And then I put a little vase um, in the other section. I tried to put in a plan in it, but I cut that footage out, because it just was awkward, and it didn't look right. Yeah. I should do more voiceovers when I'm a little buzzed. The, uh, they turn out nicer. <laughs> Put a little uh, basket in here with some blankets for funsies. Um, I put um, different side tables. I use the tiny living um, side tables. Very Scandinavian. I like that Scandinavian look. Very simple. Very elegant. Very nice. I like that. And we use those uh, base game um, lamps, but the get to work lamps would have looked probably better there, but it's too late. I'm already done with this build. I put this giant mirror from the spa day pack. It looks nice. Um, I've had it fit. And then over here, we're getting rid of that uh, dresser, and we're kind of just trying to mess around with the little desk area. I put this nice big plant right there. Having a, like a giant plant right next to your workspace, I think, would be really freaking awesome. Um, if I had a desk space. I have some plants, but they're very tiny. Um, they're like these little succulents, but they're kind of dying because they're grown in moss, but they're supposed to be grown in like rock dirt stuff, but I have yet to buy rock dirt stuff, so my plants are suffering. And I am sorry to my plants, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I live in a really tiny space, it's hard to do things. But in Uzi's, um, right next to this desk space, I put a laundry basket, and on top of the laundry basket, I put another bookshelf. So there's plenty of space for books and stuff like that. I like graphic novels or like comic books. Oh, here we are to the backyard space. We have a grill that's pushed up against the wall, but it might not be the place best place for a grill because it's like right next to wood and stuff. So barn is made out of this like nice wood but eh, it's whatever uh, we have another table outside so 
you can uh, like bring stuff from the kitchen to the table outside right here and have have a bite to eat. I put a little um, basket of napkins and sauces and stuff later on. Make it a, a more neutral swatch because it's just very grays and blacks and browns all throughout this video. I mean, speed build. Uh. <laughs> put some candles because candles are awesome. I love candles. Then we have these little uh, fairy lights from the holiday pack. I found out that they um you can only see them from one side so i had to like double layer them up so you could see them from both sides you know yeah but yeah i just raised them up with a nine key with the um testing sheets on uh bb's uh, move objects on i think that's all you need to place them like that but uh, yeah. um and then after do we do la, 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 la. <laughs> after we do this porch, we move on to the other porch, which is the front porch, which is like the living room porch. Oh, I spoke too soon. Over here we have the kitchen, and I changed the rug, and I changed the color of the chairs just so they have a little bit more contrast. But it would be honestly better if I just threw a little bit more color in, like maybe some green or something. But anyways, we have this um, front porch, and we just these couches from the Seasons Pack and another tiny little bit in, um, uh, side table. It's right there. There we go. It's in white. Um, and I also put like a little toy house over here because I was thinking about the uh, kids that might live in this place, but I didn't include their rooms because it was boring. Um, but you can remove the little toy house if you don't want it. Although I'm probably not going to upload this to the gallery. Um, <laughs> Yes, yeah, whatever. And just adding some lighting. And it's almost the end of the video, so I'm gonna say the um, the YouTuber jargon of uh, comment down below to help the algorithm push my videos. Or you can like it, or you can subscribe, or you can do whatever you want. You know, it's up to you. Um, but I hope you have a great day. Um, I hope you stay hydrated. Wear your mask. Stay safe. And I hope you just have like a better rest of your 2020 year. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna sign off now. So, bye bye. A ladder, a ladder.